So we're going to look at how to orient so your capsules are falling into their segments correctly. Um, there's three adjustments for this. There's this link rod here, and then there's two C blocks within the case itself, one for the horizontal and one for the vertical movement. Um, and as you adjust those, those will change where the forks are pushing the capsules out to and where the vertical forks are coming down on the capsules to affect the rotation. So we'll take a look at how that's supposed to look. So when you see the capsules come out, trip cam out. Horizontal forks push them out and you want to see the vertical forks coming down right at the center of the capsule where the where the top and the bottom are connecting. When that happens they will know they will rotate correctly and then they're going to go in your segments. You want to be able to adjust so that these are in the center and that the capsules aren't falling too far out or too far into the segment hole. You want them to be about centered there. So that's what you want to have adjusted with your C blocks and, and your link rod here. And these won't go in very much now because they're, there's no vacuum on, but you can see where they're falling essentially before you do that. So now let's take a look at how to actually adjust those and, and what they affect and what to look for. So to adjust the link rod, there's two lock nuts. There's one up here, and then below the machine, there's another one. Um, one of these is going to be reverse thread, meaning it's just going to rotate the opposite direction. So with that, once you loosen those, you can then just twist one way or the other to adjust it. Now what this will do is one movement will move the horizontal forks out and the magazine up in one movement and then the other direction will move it down and back all at once. So you want to use this to generally get in the vicinity of where you need those adjustments to be and then you can use the C-block adjustments to fine tune where it needs to be um, for the capsules. Once you're done with that, just tighten your lock nuts back down and then you can move on to your C-block adjustments if you need. So after you're done adjusting the link rod to where you need it to be, um, rotate the machine to the point where the, where the horizontal forks push the capsules out to their maximum extension. At that point, just make sure either if your vertical forks are centered on it, you're good, but they probably won't be and you'll need to make adjustments. So in this case, capsule's too far back, my vertical, my vertical fork is going to push down on the front of it and it's not going to rotate very well. So need to adjust the C-blocks at that point. So you'll come back behind both sets of forks and adjust and loosen these. Which I've already loosened this one some. And then you're going to make the adjustment as to where they need to be. If you push it too far out like that, lose a couple caps, you can just push the cap back till it's where the fork is so you know if you're out too far or not. Once you get where it looks good, tighten things back down. And you can move on to your next step. Once you have the horizontal forks set up like you need, after that we're going to adjust the vertical ones. All you really need to pay attention to with these is to make sure that the forks themselves don't hit the segment when they come down to their lowest amount, and that at the back it doesn't end up hitting the block here, which in this case it is pressed up against the back of the block, so we have to raise those forks up a little bit. So again, loosen your bolts back here, which I've already done. And then just pull up on there. Make sure you've got a gap at the lowest spot. And then you should be able to tighten those down. 
you don't want it to hit, but you don't. You also don't want to give it all the space in the world. Um, Okay, so finally, finally, once you're done adjusting everything, you're going to want to set your trip cam again. Um, so I've loosened the, the screws here, and then I've rotated this so it's at the lowest point that it's going to be at. Then it, from this point, you know, this is where it's going to be opening everything. So you want to rotate the machine about, so the bearing is about half the length of its height higher. And then at that point, you're going to set the trip cam there. So let's just rotate that up a little bit. hit our bearing on the bottom there and then tighten these down at this point you can rotate it and test make sure that it's dropping only one capsule make sure that it drops capsules every time um, and then you are set